Hey, what's up everybody? Tanvir here. Hope you guys are all doing well. And welcome back to the Adobe XD tutorial. This will be my fourth video in XD series. Today, we are going to learn how to import and edit images in Adobe XD. Let's begin and jump into XD. So basically we are going to learn today how to import images, how you can scale and resize your image and how to mask any image with the shape and a few quick settings from the inspector panel here at the right side and that's all. Let's begin. So first of all go to the file menu here at the top and here you'll find an option that's import just click on it you can see i have a few images here i have already downloaded it from my splash i'm selecting one of it and click import and here we go you can see the image is a little bit bigger than my canvas or artboard now it's fine look at this image very carefully you can see a few controls here like a rectangle shape and nearly it behaves like a rectangle like you can see the corner controls here if you drag them it will create border radius like a rectangle shape we have did it before see it's pretty good and easy to use and here you can see the same options and also we have the blending mode option too here and here is the same radius for all corner options and different radius for each corner option if you select this one you can different radius to any of the corner like this i'm doing now here i have give 190 pixel and here let's zoom in a little bit i hope you understand how to use the border radius tool here So now let's undo that and here let's talk about how to resize the image. If you want to resize your image just drag any of the control and move your mouse. It will automatically scale your image proportionally. You don't have to hold down the shift because here you can see here the we have already logged the aspect ratio it's set by default but if you want to give a, a specific height and width then unlock this aspect and move take the control and move your mouse and you can give any height and width of the image but it will lost your image quality I suggest you to keep the lock on and we have already seen that how to import images by this option here from the file and import menu here and there is one option more that's drag and drop when I'm opening the file manager here and dragging one to XD and here we go you can see the image resolution is too high and it's bigger than my canvas let's resize the image yeah now it's fine and now we will learn how to mask 
a image with a shape so for that let's create a shape I'm creating a rectangle now change the fill color of it so that you can see the shape now take the shape over this image here let's increase the image so that you can understand now select the image and shape together and right click of your mouse and you will see a few options here from them you can see the mask with shape option just click on it here and you can see the image already masked with the shape or if you want to resize or scale your image then just double click on this mask here you can see the shape and image together you can select any of it and resize or scale your image like I'm doing here now it's perfect now let's create a different shape select the rectangle tool here and create a rectangle and also change its fill color and check the border and select the shape and copy the shape by pressing shift plus alter from your keyboard so this time we will mask this image with these three shapes so to do that select three of this shape and here you'll find combine shape options first one is add I will talk about these options alignment option and uh, and the combine shape option in the next video so right now let's see the first option here just click on it the add option and you can see in the layers panel it just create one shape and now move this image behind the shape and let me tell you one more thing that is it's not the fact the shape is over the image or the shape is behind the image you just have to select the shape and image together and it will create a mask so now we have selected the image and shape and now right click on your mouse and click mask with shape and boom it looks awesome let's resize the image a little bit yeah now it's good this time we will learn about the blend mode option so first of all to do that let's increase the artboard size a little bit yeah now it's fine and let's import an image again I'll choose this one I'll click import again the image is too big than my artboard let's resize the image here you go now it's fine let me inform you one more thing blend mode options really visible when we use two or more shapes together if you have used Photoshop before, then you will understand very easily. So now let's create a rectangle over this image and change its fill color to green or any color. And that's it. Now go to the blend mode, drop down and select darken multiply lighten screen color dodge overlay we got a lot you can select any of it and also you can change the fill color to see the different preview 
like I'm doing here. This is how the blend mode option works. And let me delete this shape. You can use the blend mode option here, but you can see nothing here because there are only one image. That's why you can see anything here will work. Here it will work only difference and luminosity here and it will create a black and white effect. And that's it. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video then press the like button and subscribe to my channel and also let me know your thoughts in comments below. I'll get back to you soon with a new video again. Meanwhile you guys stay focused and keep learning.